This video is going to show you how to crochet a lace scallop trim. And this is the second one of these that I've done, uh, different from the first. It's by me, Gwen Fisher, using Doceri software. Here's a photo of a bracelet that you can make using this technique. Um, I just made a bunch of scallops and added a button loop and a button to it. So here's a photo of what the bracelet looks like lying flat. I started on the left and worked my way to the right until it was long enough to fit around my wrist and then added that last button loop and the button. And here's a third photo of the piece. So we're going to use several different standard crochet stitches to do this pattern. Chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And to do this piece, we're going to start at the bottom, making one scallop at a time, working our way up until it's long enough to fit around our wrist, and then we'll add the button loop. So starting at the bottom, we're going to start by making a slip knot there in yellow. And then for row one, we're going to chain seven, and we're going to slip stitch in the slip knot to make a loop. For row two, we're going to chain one and turn, and then we're going to make a single crochet, a half double crochet, seven double crochets, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And to finish the scallop, we're going to slip stitch in the slip knot. And that's the end of the first scallop. Row three, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches. That's going to position ourselves to start the second scallop. Then we're going to chain seven and turn and slip stitch over the chain. So that'll make a loop for us to build the second scallop over. Row four is going to be very similar to row two. We're going to chain one and turn and then we're going to single crochet, half double crochet, seven double crochet, half double crochet, and a single crochet. And this time we're going to make our slip stitch in the last double crochet of the previous scallop, which is really just the first available stitch. And that'll end the second scallop. Row five is going to be similar to row three. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches to position ourselves to start the scallop. But this time we're going to chain five and turn. And we're going to slip stitch instead of over the chain, we're going to do it in the double crochet. So that'll be the first. Row six is going to be just like row four. We're going to chain one and turn. But this time we're going to single crochet, half double crochet, five double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And we're going to slip stitch in the last double crochet of the previous scallop. And that'll end the third scallop. And that third scallop is, is going to be what we're going to repeat over and over again. So you're just going to repeat rows five and six to make as many scallops as you want. And if you want to make this into a bracelet, you can end the bracelet with a button loop, which is a large scallop. And you're going to change the two to a four in row five. And then you'll also need to change those fives to sixes in both rows five and six. And Add a button and you're done. That's and that's all there is to it. So I hope you'll show me what you make. Thanks.